back when you remember he started writing graffiti, he's probably like one of the like probably like some of the earliest shit that I've actually ever painted. I feel like there's a lot more that goes into it other than just like the painting. I feel like getting to the spot is like an adventure in itself. I uh Robert. You're gonna get handcuffed and go to jail. Like, it's destruction of property, really, is what it is. If you get caught, like, really anywhere. <laughs> suspicious and like maintaining like a look of innocence but at the same time be producing like art on the side of the streets and it's kind of hard to do sometimes and you kind of pick up a few like tactics from like your friends like I don't know I've also had like people be on the phone with me and just like be somewhere watching for me and, and the moment they tell me a car's coming I'll just lay down and then wait for the car to go by and then I'll go back to painting. I painted billboards and rooftop spots and busy areas and like pop fill-ins on the sidewalk. Using different styles, I feel like using hands, like tagging and doing throw-ups, which is like the bubble letters, um, on like street side is like a used for like fame and like trying to like be like the most up, like in whatever city you're in and like, so that you can get props for just like, you know, being in existence amidst the like bustle of the city. And then I feel like maybe doing like pieces and like straight letters and like more reserved for like spots that are like, uh, I mean, I don't know though. I know a lot of people that do straight letters and like bombing scenarios, but like bombing is like key to having fame if you want to be have a up. Um, I feel like, um, pieces are just like for like chill areas, like bridges and underpasses. Foundation is this place that's like a legal wall for like a lot of artists and muralists that come through Asheville. It's a safe place for them to be. There's the wedge, there's 12 bones, there's the rad skate park. Graffiti for me is a way for me to express how I'm feeling in the moment of what I'm painting. And sometimes the things that I paint won't necessarily have like a super obvious meaning, but like they carry some level of meaning with me. You know, I can like look back on those days that I've painted, some of the things that I've painted, and I think and it brings me back to a lot of memories that I like, I cherish. Being a part of your city, like, once you're dead and gone, like, that shit will still be there in all those tunnels and all those places and, like, it'll inspire people as they just walk through the fucking city.